Good afternoon, everybody, or good evening. Ah, good afternoon. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It is 20 to 5 on Thursday afternoon slash early evening. And how are you all? It's uh, been a great day. I had a show today at a retirement home that I visited only once many, many years ago. It was for a Christmas uh, bazaar. I fell on my way in, cut the living daylights out of my pants, gave myself quite a nasty cut on my knee. The nurse had to tend to me. <laughs> so needless to say, I wasn't in any rush to get back there. And it's quite an inner city facility, so tends to be a little bit lower on the uh, socioeconomic scale. So I was a, a little bit dubious, but I did okay. I uh, made a little bit of money, which is great. And um, yeah, they're like, when would you like to come back? And I'm like, once a year, that's it. I mean, you bought a bag, you're going to use that bag and you're going to shop elsewhere. And um, I'll go back next year. I got my information that I need to be able to share my .com with them. And that is what the plan is going to be. I'm going to try and visit all my facilities at least once. And then hopefully um, transition over to uh, .com. So today's bag is, um, it's a little bit of a daily driver but it's really nice. It's a lovely, lovely bag. These bags you can find um, more recently in kind of Marshalls and Winners. Now, back in the day, they were a little bit more of a boutique bag. So the brand is Valentina, made in Italy, and just a really, really sharp bag. I'm just looking at this, wondering if why it's a bit wonky. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So, first of all, I love the two-tone. I love the black and the tan. That seemed to be a bit of a thing maybe three or four years ago. Um, this bag is early 90s. There is no cell phone pockets. There is um, literally there another Valentina um, plate and then a zippered compartment. Now, this black cotton interior has faded a little bit. It looks very pilled. Now, I have gone over it with my shaver and nothing really has come off. So I think that's just the way it goes. But these, so the central compartment is in um, correlation with the gusset which is really nice and big it's got some feet on it and then these two outer zippered pockets are they they go down to the bottom but they don't share any of the width of the gusset so even when I was stuffing it to take the pictures um, and I may have actually st overstuffed it a little bit because I just, I didn't take into account that this pocket doesn't have any width at the bottom. So, but nice long shoulder strap, really, really like it. It's a little bit of a daily driver just because, you know, it's a decent, it's one of those bags that you notice somebody carrying and you go, hmm, nice bag. And um, it doesn't scream anything crazy at you, but it just, you know, all these details, the Valentina on the zipper. We've talked about this many, many times. This is all signs of quality. This costs the manufacturer money. And that is something that um, maybe even more so uh, today in, in today's retail market. They're not wanting to do that. They're wanting to save money. So these details are typically not in abundance in uh, the bags that are on the market today. That's the back end of it. That's the front. Just a really, really nice everyday bag that you're going to get a ton of stuff in. So there you go. That's today's bag. I just listed it. And um, yeah, so been busy, busy. Uh, it's warm enough, leather bag lady weather report, beautiful day today, so I wore my 
kind of croc flip-flops which protects my ankle beautifully and um yeah i was actually contacted by somebody from marketplace today because i have combined a bunch of stuff that was given to me last year by my mom's friend who was moving out of her uh, family home and in it was this vintage 70s lighter now i tried to put it on marketplace and it wasn't allowed because it's i don't know cigarette associated or whatever and you light it here so i just put it in with a box about of like a random box and just took a picture of everything and this lady's like what is that tall item and i said it's a lighter she said oh i have to have it and i said well what the whole box or just the lighter she says no just the lighter so uh we agreed a price for just the lighter i have to ship it to toronto so it'll be interesting to see how much that is she paid 15 dollars for shipping it might be a little bit more than that it's not a light object but you know what hey if she thinks it's as cool as all get out then good for her so that happened today and then i came home i was so hungry i'm gonna have to work out something with that because i had my toast early because i had to be there for 10 o'clock and i didn't leave till almost two and normally i would have had a nice big cup of tea and my toast around 11 11 30 and you know eat 3 30 4 o'clock but i was ravenous when i got home so i had my dinner i went and sat outside for a little bit and now here we are hanging out so uh yeah that was my day hopefully you're all having a good one if you're in my neck of the woods as i said already the weather has been gorgeous today no rain isn't that fabulous had a good visit at the gym this morning i will be a little sore tomorrow i think leg day on thursdays you know how i feel about a good leg day <laughs> and i'm actually doing my plank remember i at the beginning of my lent thing i was doing the 30 day plank challenge well i'm up to a minute and 10 now with the plank and i feel i mean it's been Okay, I've got my April calendar still here. So one, two, so it's almost been six, seven, eight. I'm coming on to my ninth week and I feel strong, strong, strong. I really do. I've got muscle definition now. I'm, I haven't really lost that much weight really, but I feel great. So there you go. Just, I don't know, make some goals for yourself. I think I'm going to do mine in six weeks increments because you know me i got the attention span of a flea so anyway let's get to and finish our louis vuitton um trivia uh points today so um it says here that louis vuitton had nazi 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 whatever you're going to call it connections i wouldn't doubt it i really wouldn't doubt it i mean i think before that mess became a mess, it probably was a very affluent thing to be connected with a government something or other. I mean, I mean, let's face it. I've got cutlery that's got the uh, stamp, the royal stamp on it. I've got, you know, some of our Tetley tea boxes have got the royal stamp on them, you know, tea bags to the queen or whatever. That is a very... Um, you know, that's a very high kind of, uh, what's the word? Oh my God, it's gone right out of my head. It's, it's a very notable thing to have, a product that is apparently used by the queen. So I'm not 100% surprised that that is the case. Would you advertise it now? Absolutely not. So it says the majority of the bags are made with machines. So we've talked about this before and I was told, and again, anything I share with you is stuff I found out. I can't absolutely guarantee, but I've been told this from multiple sources that the bags are now made in lower uh, labor cost countries. I mean, back in the day, they were handmade in France, you know, just like Coach was made in New York and Roots, well, Roots is still made in Toronto. But um, many of their clothing items are made in, in uh, other countries. But their leather, to my knowledge, is still in Toronto. So 
the quality of workmanship, I guess they try to keep it consistent by pre-cutting all the panels for the bags. So all the employee has to do is just sew it, which kind of makes sense because if your cutting skills are not as good as the next guy's cutting skills, then you're going to have wonky products, right? So that's, and they're outsourced, yes. So they're made in China or Malaysia or wherever they're made. And it says that the leather has no dye. Now, I know the Vaketa leather, which is the leather of the handles and the base, um, for the monogrammed bags anyway, is very, very, very pale when you get it. And then if you were watching the video where I showed you my Alma bag, I mean, it's almost, it's not black, but it's very dark brown. And that's been from years of oils from my hands, me trying to be cute and cleaning it with stuff I shouldn't have cleaned it with, blah -de blah So that... I don't know how that works because the the uh, monogrammed elements of the bag are chocolate brown and kind of the goldy LV. Like that has to be dye, right? I don't know. Anyway, that is as finished our Louis Vuitton. Let me turn the page and see what's tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. I'm not telling you. I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, everybody, have a great rest of the night and I will talk to you tomorrow.